My name is uh, Ram Sabadala. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Microbiology at the University of Washington. The main project is actually the IBM World Communicator. We are trying to work on trying to understand how the rice genome makes itself what it is to make it more nutritious, uh, have a bigger yield, be more pest resistant, be more, be more drought resistant, and then uh, adaptable to different environmental conditions. We're actually crossbreeding different species of rice. There is no reengineering at all. It's something that farmers have done for a millennia. Uh, that's exactly what we're doing now. There is no reengineering. So we are trying to figure out single rice genes that do something. And if you find one of them, just one of them, that will justify this whole effort on this whole Oh, yeah. Thing. Right there is the uh, a protein molecule. It's a rice protein. It's folded up into a protein structure. We've shown it in a weird, uh, idealized view. It's actually part of it. In the background is a rice field. Here we're showing the protein molecule in terms of how we predicted it, in terms of energy, and we're showing how well it's product. Everyone is using their computers to do the work for us. So when you do a uh, screen saver, it's showing you how much of the project is being completed. This kind of detail is never going to be available without extensive computer power that IBM World Communicators provide to us. We could do natural stir for about 200 years that IBM can do in about, with the World Communicator could do about in about, uh, say, a year or two. We actually commit to the World Communicator because the resources that that gives us and it's way better than writing a lot of grants. I don't need to worry about these kinds of competing power issues. I can prototype on my cluster, and then I can send it out the grid, and then everything goes as I want to, and I love it.